Hey, and welcome to calf stretching. Um, we're gonna get started with just um, a nice little just standing warm up. So go ahead and stand up if you aren't. I'm gonna use my bike here. So I'm gonna step forward with my right foot, my left foot back behind me, and I'm gonna shift my hips forward, keeping that ankle planted to the ground, bending that back knee just a little bit and just push it forward, stretching gently through that back leg. So your chest is lifted, back knee bent, stretching out through that calf. Three, two, and one, slowly ease out of that calf stretch, switching sides, other foot forward. Three, two, and bend that back knee. It's gonna feel awkward, but it should be a nice stretch to that calf. So you're gonna want something to prop your foot up on. I'm gonna use a dumbbell. Um, if you have like a large book or like a table that has like a low um, bottom to it or something, uh, you can use that. We're just going to prop uh, the ball of our foot on something to just stretch out that calf. Three, two, one. Easing off that stretch. So using that dumbbell, put one foot on it, shift your weight forward over that leg, putting all the weight in the ball of the foot and letting that heel just drop, stretching out. We're going to come to some seated stuff in just a moment. Drop that heel as far as you can. My calves get so tired. You do a lot of hit biometrics or running. Your calves, they need this. Um, about a year ago, I tore my calf over a year ago, actually. Three, two, one. Switch legs. Ease off of it nice and slow. And other ball of foot. Shifting the weight into that foot, dropping that heel down. Um, I tore my calf like over a year ago. I was out for a run, it was like a beautiful like 70 degree sunny day and I was like, I'm gonna run fast. And then I sped up and then I just felt this like rip and I had to limp a mile and a half home. I was just hoping I was like, had like a um, muscle spasm or something. No, for it. Three. Two, and one. So come to the ground, lay it back, and grab your left knee. You're just gonna make some circles. Oh, the left's coming away on me. Just make some huge circles with that toe. The biggest circle you can. This is like a static stretch, obviously, and circles the other way. <laughs> Hi, big brother. Thank you so much for helping daddy stretch. <laughs> but your ankle is so um, surrounded by such small muscles. You want to make sure that we work those muscles tight. Three, two, one, and you're gonna switch legs. You're gonna to have to get up in just a second, and no biggie. Three, two, big circles, opposite side. We're gonna come into a kneeling position after this with um, those toes tucked under. The feet are together and the heels will be together. Other direction for those circles. The heels will be together. Uh, feet will be together. Three. Two. One. I'm sorry, the legs are up there. Okay. So you're going to tuck those toes under, knees together. Big toes together, you're just gonna shift it back, pushing back, keeping your chest lifted, stretching out the bottoms of those feet, pushing the weight back in toward your toes. Those heels are pretty close together, if they're, if they're not touching, that's fine. You just wanna push back with those hands. We're gonna come into a down dog here. Three, two, one. Walk those hands out in front. Tuck the toes. 
Send those heels down, maybe say, take those feet out, hip distance apart. Really drop the heels down toward the ground, lift the hips up. So you're gonna feel a hamstring and calf stretch. <laughs> These strings in my hoodie were a poor choice. Is that so fun? Yeah. That was kind of terrifying. I thought you were coming after me. Just my strings. <laughs> That's fun. How can I expect you to be a kitty and not see the dangling strings? Three, two, and one. Drop your knees down. We're going to come fully up off those hands this time. So feet are close together, toes tucked under, come all the way up, sit back. If you have really tight um, arches or really tight Achilles tendon, this might be super painful for you. And just lean forward and ease off of it coming back as far as you can. We've got another downward dog after this. Three, two, one, and slowly coming off there. Feet about hip distance apart. Downward dog. We're gonna shift the heels to the right side. Turn those heels to the right side and drop them down, stretching out the inner and outer ankle. We're going to switch in five, four, three, two, and other side. Three, two, and last round, toes together, coming back, sitting back all the way. Maybe kind of walk those knees back closer to those toes, trying to get as much of a stretch as you can, trying to sit back as far as you can on those toes. Listen to your body if you want more of a stretch, push those heels together. And ease out of this one because this one's gonna be pretty intense. If you feel that um, Achilles tendon talking to you, just ease off of it. Four, three, two, one. Shifting it forward, we got a downward dog again. We're gonna shift it side to side again. So take it back, drop the heels to one side, holding for 15 seconds. Are you gonna come through with the screen if you do? Feel that stretch, inner and outer hamstring, three, two, and switch those heels to the other side. We're done after this. Four, three, two, and you are done. Thanks for stretching with me. Bye, Bullet. <laughs>